stop by just to say hi. First thing I'm gonna stay and take off my shoes. I'm your new buddy, the blues. Yeah, how do you do? I'm the blues. I'm your new roommate now. She went with him and I'm moving in. We're gonna have a ball. Oh, just me and you. I'm your new buddy, the blues. I like it here, we'll hang around alone <laughs> You and I can sit and cry, staring at the telephone Oh, so much to do, I'm in a buddy the blues Shake your heart, gonna ache till you don't know what to do And I'll be there too, cause I'm your new buddy the blues I'll be around when you lay down tonight in a lonesome bed Thinking of her, wishing she were here beside you instead But it ain't no use, I'm your new buddy the blues This is the lesson Buddy the Blues, uh, originally recorded and composed by Pat Donahue. I arranged it here and there and uh, added a solo. And it's in standard tuning out of the key of G and I have a capo on the first fret. Here are my first and sixth strings. And it is clearly um, influenced by Blind Blake's Too Tight Rack. Check that record out. And you'll see that some of the guitar moves really fit in there. Okay, uh, for, first of all, uh, Pat Donahue teaches this also in one of his uh, DVDs, but a slower version. And I don't think it sounds very well when you play it alone and play it like... <laughs> Like that, um, I don't. I think it loses some of its uh, charm. He recorded it slower as I played, but with a band, and that's a whole different story. It's on a, one of his CDs, and uh, with a full band, a very good drummer also uh, that keeps the time very well. And he really goes to town when he plays his guitar. Does much more than what I do here and what he teaches on the DVD. So let's do uh, my version then, and I'm sliding, I'm uh, strumming down the G chord, and you can I do C thumb middle index, but you can do like that also as well. That works too. Thumb index, thumb index, thumb index, thumb index. Sorry. is a tripler in bar 3 and then we stretch that a little bit notice the muting with the right hand as well with the right hand palm here at this part of the hand and then to a C again that mute in the last beat E flat 7, so your D7 position moved up one fret and the uh, index added to the first fret, fourth string. That's bar 6. Tamp, index, tamp, tamp, middle, index, tamp. Back to G. D7, 
double bass, A7, and sometimes I play, tw hit twice that D7. And that nice uh, descending on the bass and ascending on the second string, a turnaround. One more time slowly, bar 11. And yet the open notes, and then your D7, C7 position moved up two frets. And you can play the open string or not. And then we have the, the verse. I'll play the intro one more time. Notice that when the turn around, you can play that several different uh, different um, ways. As it is tapped out, or so I'm stretching that second beat of the eleven bar. And you can play that last bar, that last beat of bar twelve, open also if you won't have some more time to move to the other chords. So in the, the verse I play it slowly. Same positions as in the intro, uh, slightly different here and there, but the same chords I mean. So I'll, I'll sing it softly so you uh, hear where the, the words fit. How do you do? I'm the blues. How do you feel today? Thought I'd stop by just to say hi. Better think I'm gonna stay and take a And the section uh, C, E flat 7, I often do right hand variations there. But you can play it straight and keep the alternating bass as well. Tall or stop by, just to say hi. But I think I'm gonna stay. You see? All right. I think that is pretty. Uh, pretty easy to do. Then we have the solo and there we're gonna have to use um, a wrap uh, around the sixth string to be able to play. And Doug Baker does this a lot, I learned this from him. Uh, instead of playing you know, regular G chords, just the sixth string third fret and then your hand is free to move around. So you're gonna have to do that with the pinky and third finger and bend both strings a little bit and I use one finger to cover two strings if you put them in the middle it works or else you can use two fingers or a half bar as you wish. Bend the second string. And then in the 28 bar, we go into our uh, G7. C. Same uh, 
uh, right hand pattern as uh, before, as in the E flat 7. Same again. And then moving up. This is uh, your C7. And you move your two fingers to the first and the third string. Gary Davis uses this chord a lot and it's a variation of your C7 moved up it becomes a D and a D flat 7 sorry D is here um, where were we so accent that second beat So, and then in the middle of the second beat of the 30th bar, you move to that E flat 7. We had about 29. Then our G. G7. And we're sliding into our D chords. Bend and let it ring into the next beats. Notice the mute also. Now, at the end, I redo the solo once more and also the introduction once more. my index finger to the fifth fret and that you will see in the end solo so C, D7 I'll play the solo one more time uh, slowly. Okay, that's it for Buddy the Blues. Have fun with it.